Hey everyone, Nick here again with another tip on how to analyze your customer experience survey data. Now I work with survey data all the time. I work for a zoo uh, and I've worked for museums and other visitor serving organizations and we always do our exit survey. I want you to know that this tutorial is really uh, can be used in lots of different contexts. You don't have to work for a museum or a zoo or do these uh, guest experience or visitor experience surveys to have this be applicable to your work. Because maybe you do professional development workshops and you have evaluation surveys at the end, or maybe you do conference presentations and you do um, maybe some of those um, feedback surveys at the end that you're asking visitors uh, or your audience to rate uh, the presentation on different aspects that you deem important uh, enough to of rate in that evaluation. So this is going to be helpful for you in a lot of different contexts. So you can see over here on my uh, survey data, this is how a lot of survey data is exported when I put it into Microsoft Excel. So say I have along the columns here, each of these are a thing or an item that my uh, customers have rated in terms of their experience. We see overall experience, welcoming, safety, accessibility, cleanliness, value for cost, educational, or easy to navigate or, or find your way around. So I have asked all of our visitors or my customers to rate these aspects of their experience with our organization or with the visit that they just had to the museum, the zoo, some other place like that. I want to first know how many cases do I have in my um, data export. Some of sometimes you might just have a few, but sometimes over the course of a long time, maybe a year, you have a lot of data uh, to represent. So I'm just gonna do this little trick here in Excel. If you start uh, in any cell like this, I'm gonna start in cell A2 here with my first survey response. If you push control and then the down arrow, it will take you to the last piece of data that you have in that column. So let's go ahead and push control and then down. And now you can see I have 6,278 completed surveys in my database. So it would be a long, it would take a long time to just sort of eyeball this data and look at, um, you know, look at how many people are rating fives, uh, a one out or five out of five on all of these items. Like I definitely need to have some way of analyzing these in Excel, and you can just do that with a very simple formula. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First, I want to tell you. Um, first, you want go ahead and label what those responses are. So these are all one to five rating scales and we ask them to rate their experience on the following uh, five point labeled scale that we have and the, la the labels that we have for each of those options are poor, fair, good, excellent, and outstanding above and beyond top box. So what I want to know is in column D, in overall experience, how many people rated their experience poor? How many people rated their experience fair? How many people rated their experience good? And so on. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to type in a formula here and we're going to calculate how many pours we have or how many ones we have in this column D. So first to open, uh, to create any formula in Excel, you have to open it by typing an equal sign and then open your parenthesis here and we're going to type in count if um, and actually what I'm going to do, we don't need that parenthesis first, we need the parenthesis after the formula, so sorry about that. So we're going to say equal count if, I'm going to go ahead and open the parenthesis and then Excel is telling me what do I want to count, it's asking me what range do I want to count. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the cell. So I know it's D2 colon and that's going to tell me now I need to go all the way down to this final piece which is uh, row 6279 so 6279 and you can see Excel is telling me where uh, by this highlighted range where the last cell is and the first cell is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and push a comma and then it's saying what do you want to count so I want to count all the ones so I'm gonna open a quotation mark and then type one and then close the quotation mark and then close the parenthesis and then I'll push enter it's telling me that 117 people rated their overall experience poor. Okay, so let's do the same formula, but let's update it for each of the response options one through five, okay? So equals count if D2, D6279, open parenthesis two, close parenthesis, close, uh, or the, the parenthesis there, close parenthesis there, and make sure those quotes are around the two, push enter. 378 people have an uh, experience of fair, equals count if, let's do this again for 3, D2, D6279, 3, equals count if, 
D2, D6279. Perfect. And we'll do four. Close quote, close parenthesis, enter, and then one more formula. Count if D2, D6279. Criteria is five. Close parenthesis. And there we have. Now let's do a, t a final formula so that we can have the grand total. How many people rated this item on the survey? Because we know that some people skip different items and things like that. So it's, uh, it's not going to be perfect to go by the number um, of cases that we have in that column A. So let's go ahead and type equals sum. Open the parentheses and then we'll sum those values there. Close parentheses. And we have 6,269 people who responded to this item on the survey. Now, I don't have to go ahead and type that those formulas in every single one of these cells. I can go ahead and just copy these formulas over. And Excel is smart enough to know that the formula actually transitions over by one column. So each of the columns will be analyzed separately. So go ahead and highlight this uh, series of data right here. These are the formulas that I have. Go ahead and place your cursor down here. Uh, so that it turns into this little plus sign. I'm going to click and then I'm going to just drag across all my columns that I want to update there. And you can see all of the data has updated. So these are all the counts or all the numbers of people uh, who rated these items, poor, fair, good, excellent, and outstanding on my survey. Now it can be a little bit more um, accessible to report these in percentages, especially when I have so many people in my survey. So let's go ahead and just copy our um, our survey labels right here. I'm going to put them right down here. And now let's make these into percentages. And we just have to do a little bit of math. So it's about the formulas that we put in here. So let's see what percentage of people rated their experience, their overall experience poor here. I'm going to go ahead and type an equal sign. I'm going to point to this cell here. That's the number of people that rated their experience poor. And then we're going to divide it by the total number of people who rated that specific item. And I'm going to push Enter. And that gives me a percent. Now, if it gave you a decimal number here, all you have to do is reformat this uh, cell to percentage. and you can can just do that up here in the number uh, menu here on the ribbon. So we're going to do the same calculation here. Equal fair divided by total. Perfect. Equal good divided by the total. Equal excellent divided by the total. And then equal outstanding divided by the total. Perfect. So this is my percentage. I can see 30% of my audience rated their overall experience outstanding, 2% of my audience rated it uh, poor, 6% fair, and etc. So we can do the exact same thing here by copying that formula across uh, just so that we don't have to type in all of those individual formulas. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that formula across. And there are all of my survey data really quick. You can go ahead and copy this into a report, send it to your boss, send it to your coworkers, so you can have some really nice discussions. Now another thing that I like to do is I like to transform this data. And that means I like to flip the rows and columns. Because I find this can be a little bit challenging to read, especially if it's in a report or a slide. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy my uh, labels right here. And you can see when I do that, it takes me all the way back to that first slide. That's totally OK. But what I'm going to do is push Control. I don't want to copy all this data. I just want to copy this top row here. I'm going to push Control. And then I'm going to make sure I'm going to take the slider here and go all the way down to the bottom where my analyzed data, data were. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor here as I'm pushing the Control key so that only these things are selected. So only my data is selected, my analyzed data, the percents, and then also the uh, rating labels here on the survey. Now I'm going to push Control c and it's going to say, OK, you're, you're copying this, this uh, sort of separated range of data. And I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to paste it so that the, the rows and the columns switch. And, I'll see, and you'll see what I mean right now. So I'm going to go ahead in this cell right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Paste Special. Click here on the drop down, go down to Paste Special, and then say Values and Numbers Formats. And then you have to click this little checkbox called Transpose. When you do that, that transposes the data uh, here. And you'll see what it looks like when I push OK. So you can see all the data has now switched from this uh, orientation where all of the columns are across uh, and the rows are here for the survey rating responses. And now all the columns are vertical here. These are all the items that people rated on the survey. And then these are the data poor through outstanding. Now I could also just go here and make sure that I'm 
typing in each of those rating categories, poor, fair, good, excellent, and outstanding. Cool. So now all you have to do, maybe clean up some of this data. I'm going to just write, uh, justify everything here. Maybe I want to make sure that the rating items are bold. That's uh, just a control B. Uh, we'll actually do something here. That's we'll make it bold. And I'm going to make these bold as well. Just control B. That's a nice little trick. And you could just copy this uh, range of cells in this table and put it into a slide, put it into your report, and you have an easy survey rating data right there. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all the likes and the subscribes. Hit the bell to subscribe to my channel every time I post a new video on data design, survey uh, design, survey construction, or survey analysis, uh, data analysis. I'm gonna do more of that, I think, in the future because I do a lot of that in my work. You'll get notified each time I post one of those. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.